Well, it really is a city that loves its football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester, and it's a real pleasure to be here tonight at Old Trafford. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester United versus Southampton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about... Rashford! Rashford. McTominay. And Cristiano Ronaldo waiting. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea between the posts. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Scott McTominay plays with Fred in central midfield. And the front pair, Cristiano Ronaldo, starts together with Marcus Rashford. And here's how the lineup looks for Southampton. Alex McCarthy is the goalkeeper. James Ward Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to be tightly marked today because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but it was his general play that was brilliant. And I'm sure we're going to see more of the same today. It comes to nothing in the end. Great pressure to win the ball back. Ronaldo, he'll have a go here. And a really good diving stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Armstrong. Redmond. Has a go. Making sure it didn't get past him. Cristiano Ronaldo. Marcus Rashford. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Will he play it in? Rashford. And he read it well defensively. Ward Prowse couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Maguire. Fred with it. Scott McTominay. Bruno Fernandes. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. In behind for him to chase. And thumped away. Rashford, Ronaldo, terrific block. Jay Adams. Well, the attack looks promising. Walker Peters, and options in the centre. Cuts it back. He can't hold on to it, and he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, let's take another look at this. And from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper. Players coming in for the rebound. And there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one. Couldn't react to the second. Thank you. 
So they are playing again, and Southampton are the team in front. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Fred. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, quite frankly, it's been a struggle for Cristiano Ronaldo, not having anything like the impact we would expect from a player of his calibre, Stuart. Yeah, he struggled to get on the ball in dangerous areas. You can argue the service hasn't been good enough, but I don't think his movement has been dynamic as it normally is. He certainly needs... So back underway with United looking to plot a route back into this game. Bruno Fernandes. Fred. Given away by Manchester United. And using his strength to shield the ball. Moving it forward. Can he play it in? Throw-ins given. Time for a change then. And foul it is then. He's played it over to the near post. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. But their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders. Otherwise, they're going to lose this. Textbook defending inside the box. Redmond. Romeo. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Keeper getting the touch. Ward Prowse. It's still there for him. It's got to be. In it goes. Delighted to be two in front. Things look good for them now. Well, let's look at the replay. They move the ball so well, just waiting for an opening. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, a second goal for them here. Twenty minutes to go. And that was a very fine read. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now what can he do? Well, flinging himself at the ball. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. And United will switch things around personnel wise. Number 17, Fred, to be replaced by number 34, Donny van der Beek.
Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he clears the danger. Diogo Dallo. A chance to whip it in. Bruno Fernandes. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Here's a change for Manchester United. So the match continues and United just one behind here. Jay Adams. Good pass. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Ward Prowse. Romeo. It's there for him. And he's got to clear his lines. Well, they can keep possession now. Rashford. Cavani. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Diogo Dallo. And the danger's still on. Getting in there to intercept. Well, this is building up to a nail-biting finish. These United fans are making so much noise. Can they get an equaliser here? And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Substitution for Southampton. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And they deal with the threat this time. Jay Adams. Options in the middle. Now a decent position. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. The referee's whistle for full time, and here's the big story. No points at all for Manchester United. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played...